We'll give our recap for the week. But basically five yeah. days. Yeah, this is day six on this building project. We've got five days of construction, one day in cleanup. Yeah. Yeah, today we I finished cutting rafters and Joey's been cleaning up the property so we can walk around here a little little better. Yeah. And uh, so I got all the rafters cut for the main camp and once those are on and the roof boarded and we get the farmer's porch floor on and the posts in then we can uh, figure out the rafter length of, of the uh, rafter going out over the farmer's porch and up onto the main roof. So that's uh, that's it. We got all the, as I said, we got all these rafters cut. Thank goodness. So waiting for more help to appear. Brandon and the crew are coming at some point and. Uh, Put those up for us, which would be a great, great help uh, they, because they are not light. But some uh, of them were growing a couple a week ago. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's looking good. We've had a good week here. You know, uh, it hasn't rained all week. Haven't missed a day because of it. Nope. Which is awesome. Perfect. It's weather. Unusual. So maybe we're going to get a good fall and we've had all the rain we're going to get this summer. That'd be nice. So today feels more like a fall day. It's breezy, cool, sun's out. Perfect, perfect day. Yeah. So it feels good to have those cut and ready to go. I think we got everything accomplished plus a little more that we were planning on for this trip. Yeah. The fact that you got those all cut is pretty amazing. We could fly next time we come up. Yeah. We'll probably try to get here a day early, right? And yeah, I want to get here a day early so we can board this porch and get the posts in and get the header on the post and, you know, get it ready so that uh, once he gets the roof on, why we can uh, figure out our rafter and I can start cutting those. Uh, 22 of those. I've cut 44 rafters for the main house. Oh, it's a lot of cutting. <clears throat> and you have to be pretty, you know, I'm pretty particular on cutting rafters uh, so I like to cut them alone uh, it's just me <laughs> so uh, I've, I think I as I, far back as I can remember I only cut rafters wrong on one <laughs> one house and luckily Luckily, I didn't have them all cut before we were putting them up. We, I probably had eight cut. Oh, no. So what we usually did, we'd, we'd put up the ridge pole and four rafters. Yes, yep. To see that everything was okay. Yeah. Well, it wasn't okay. <laughs> I don't know how I messed up, but I messed up. Sometimes you get similar numbers, or like a 68 and an 86. I must have, yeah. I must a half have. and then a three-quarter. I some. must have done yeah. something. I don't know what. Jeez. But uh, I kind of have a little cheat sheet now on figuring rafter lengths. Uh, I have a little booklet, and uh, it it gives, you know... Say this span, like this was an easy one, it was 20 foot wide, but it might be 21 foot three and a half inches. And the book that I have and it gives all the different pitches. So, if, say it was a 10 pitch, you'd go into the chart for common rafter, which is what these would be. They're not a hip rafter or anything. Common rafter, and you'd look up 21 feet. 
in the inch increment, add them together, and uh, that would be a rafter length. Hmm. So, uh, and then you figure out how much overhang you want on, you know. Yeah. And uh, so that's basically it. Uh, they used to do all this, you know, with the frame and square, figure out. There's a lot of information on a frame and square. Yeah. And uh, believe it or not, there's a lot I don't know <laughs> about a frame and square. There's too I'm, much information. Because I've had this cheat sheet uh, most of the times. But, uh, you know, a lot of people still use a frame and square to figure out rafter legs. I did it once. Yeah. It wasn't too bad, but it was su it was easy cuts. Yeah. Yeah. The S Simpson... Is it Samson or Simpson? What's the name of that square that has it all on there for you? Oh, not a Stanley. No, I didn't think it was Stanley. Yeah, I can't remember. No, it doesn't matter. Yeah, there's a lot of information there. So that's basically it. And uh, boy, if I screwed up on these, man. Look at that mouse. <laughs> Ran right in our Did tent. Did he? Yeah. That son of a gun. Come out of the ground right here. Ah. That son of a gun, he's looking for some groceries. Yep. I don't think he can get up on the table. I don't think so either. So it's looking pretty decent around here now. We got rid of quite a lot of lumber. Yeah. I think we're going to have to bring up a few more boards just in case. Think so? I'm, I'm, Might as well. I'd rather have them yeah. than not have them. Might as well. Yeah. We could store them underneath. We'll right. use them for something. Yeah. They'll get used. Yeah. And uh, i got to get them out of the barn anyway so I can put my boat in. That that third joint on the, the rim joist third joint. dipped down like a son of a gun. Yeah, I see it. I wonder if we could shim that. Or, or if, this, if this one's high, I can grind here. It's hard to say what it does dip. One of them's off. I wonder if that post is a little low, a little high. The middle post. Oh, could be. We'll have to check it out. It's probably the board. Yeah. Oh, he was dragging there. What, his uh, yawk rate? He hadn't had it down yet. Huh. Yeah, they're out here grading the road. They're going to be doing some cutting. Uh, we talked to the forester, and they're going to do some cutting in on this road. We're going to have to be careful. So the yeah, so they're fixing it up, and it needed some fixing up and maintenance. And they usually don't do it unless they got cutting on it. So probably that's a good thing for us. Yeah. Getting in here. Yeah. So we. About ready to book it home. Yeah, we got about six hours. And uh, got a little drive. We gotta, oh, we gotta write down the wrap for the uh, tin. Yep. We're gonna stop at the Amish and order the roofing for one side and uh, have that pick it up on our way back up through, hopefully. Yeah. So I'd say we've accomplished quite a lot with a two, two and a three-man crew yeah. for six days, so really yeah. five and a half. The average age was 63, and then when Stevie showed up, it it went down to <laughs> it dropped a little. It dropped a little, yeah. Yeah, dropped to uh, about 58. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Stevie worked hard. We, yeah, did we a good put, job. We put, we put Stevie to work. For a guy that doesn't do construction, I'm real proud of how he how he did. Yeah, did a good job. Takes his time framing, but it's well, done right. Yeah, I mean that's good. Yeah. Only thing aggravate me are the two friggin' bolts that. Oh yeah, those screws. Metal. We don't have a hacksaw. 
Yeah, do we? I got that, um... Oh, saber saw? Yeah, yeah, that freaking thing I've been using all week. That one you won't use. Oh. Sawzo. Well, I wonder if those are... They must be hardened. No, those ones aren't. The other oh, ones are. Yeah. I'm going to cut those off and drive some good ones in when we come back. Yeah. Well, she ain't going... I mean, they're... The ones in there are pretty, pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, well, we're putting these long screws in. What, 10, 8, 8, uh, eight tens. 10 inch, 10 Those inch. ones are 10s, yeah. And they're soft, and they got a hexagonal head on them, but it just stripped out the head yeah. when we were talking them in. That beam does look pretty cool, though, doesn't it? Yeah. I like that overhang, too. I yeah. got a feeling this camp's going to be pretty warm. Yeah. I mean, it'll be good and tight. I can't imagine the mice getting into it. No. And the fact that we're so high helps us out, too. Yeah. No, I think it's going to be great. I'm glad we notched the big end on those logs, too. Yeah, me too. It kind of makes them symmetrical as yeah. far as up and down. A lot better angle on it, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Well, I suppose. Yes. I'll get my tape and we'll measure out a... Yes. For the tin. Yep. Oh. Where's your tape? I got one right here. Oh, okay. If yours is further. Yeah, mine's up in the... Yep. All right, do a final walk around. Donnie's closing down the tent. Show you guys what we were able to accomplish in the last five days. 81 years old running the crew, he's amazing. Never balked once. Well, that's what she looks like in there. Put the loft up. Bedroom right here. Bedroom, some beds over here. And then that whole big area is gonna be the living area and the kitchen and also the dining area. So that's what she looks like and then we're gonna have a full 28 foot long farmer's porch coming down here off the front with a roof that ties into the other roof. Yep. Yeah. yeah, it looks like this one dipped down. It does. This one though, this one wasn't as bad. It just, at the end. And it's too high here. It's just a bad cat. Oh, I see. Yeah. I'll grind her. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're out of here. All right, you pretty happy? I'm happy as I'm all real get happy. out. Yeah. Oh, she looks great. This is the last place you're ever going to build? Well, i got to help uh, probably Andrew build his garage. <laughs> Are you going to be home in time for, do you want me to bring you something from Panera? No. Okay, I didn't think so. Yeah. We got to stop and see the well, Amish. How's the build going? Really, really good. Are you taking lots of video? Yep. Good. I, I really enjoyed those last ones. Were you nervous about Donnie's health? Yes, but I knew the yeah, outcome because I saw him in person. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I wasn't too scared because I knew he was okay. <laughs> Well, he's doing really good now. I'm so glad. Joe's, wear, Joe's wearing me out. I believe it. If, if you believe that. I believe that, that you're probably wearing each other out. They finally got this place. Yeah, going. wow. They, yeah, we're, at, we're in uh, Portage, Portage Lake. Oh, you're still way up north, so it's going to be another seven or eight hours, so, or six, oh, yeah, or six we hours until you get here. Yeah, we got a while. Cool.